All right, in this video, I'm going to explain the east framing wall, which would then tell you how to do the west framing wall. Um, so let's get started. So the first thing, um, I'm just going to delete this all real quick. So the first thing is to identify our studs um, with red lines. So studs are any vertical structural member that we have. So you'll notice I have studs and partial studs. Um, so for, or for full length studs, I do include these which are called trimmer studs that go underneath our window header because they're almost full length. So I do include those um, in them. Um, so you can tell students to do that. It makes it a little bit easier. And then all I'm doing is clicking and I'm copying and pasting these lines to make my life a little bit easier. Just get them as close as you can. So once you identify all of the studs, you can count up how many red lines you have to figure out how many eight footers you need. So studs are two by fours by eight feet. So my wall is eight feet tall. So to just make this stud, I need one two by four. So now I just need to count up how many I need in total. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, these are my little ones. So let's start over. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Awesome. So now I'm going to double click and write 17. Now moving on to partial studs, I'm going to use a green line to do that. And here I'm going to just first identify. That's kind of what I start doing before I figure out how many two by fours I need. Here are all my partial studs. I actually have some up here as well. Okay. So now to figure out how many two by fours by eight footers do I need for this, what I need to figure out is the measurement of these. So I'm gonna to go to the length tool and I'm gonna figure out how long. So that's about three feet. Okay, so this is three feet, this is three feet, and then let's see how long this is. So that's about, I'll do like a half of a foot, six inches. So I have three feet, six feet, seven feet, eight feet. So that is one stud, that's one eight footer. Then I have, I'll start on my next eight footer and measure how long this is. I have about two feet, so two feet, two feet, I'm assuming, yep. So I'm at four feet, another six inches. I have four feet, six inches, and then another three feet. So I'm at seven and a half inches, or seven feet, six inches. So I need a total of two eight footers. Something that students uh, like to do is that they like to um, kind of add it all up and then divide by eight. You cannot do that because you have to think about a piece of wood. It comes in an eight foot length and you have to physically cut that piece of wood. So sometimes what I do is I like show my students like this is an eight foot stud and then I have to cut it on a saw. So here's my three foot stud, partial stud. So I'd cut that about there. And then I have five feet left over. So here's my other three foot stud, cut it about there. So I have three feet, six feet, so I have a foot left, and those are my two six inches. And I cut it there. So I show them how you actually build it because you, um, you might get the wrong answer if they add up the total length and then just divide by eight feet because they're not understanding, well, okay, it's an eight foot board, that's all you have. So you have to kind of work out where you would cut that board. All right, so headers, um, something to know about headers, there are two of them. This is something that's really important that students forget. So show that with uh, two lines. And the length of those are roughly about two feet. So two, four, six, eight. So I only need one eight footer for that. And let's see how we're doing. Ooh, we said two, okay. Um, so this one, yeah, I guess if you did measure a little bit, two, four, six, eight, yeah. So if you actually did your length, it is over two feet. So you don't have enough to actually do one board. So it is two feet. All right, 
And then our sole plate is marked with pink. So I'm going to do my line tool. I'm going to grab my pink. And here's our sole plate going from the bottom. This is what your studs all connect to. And I am told if I look at my dimensions that my wall is 16 feet long. So how many 8-footers do I need to make 16 feet? I need 2. And then my double top plate, I'm going to make another pink line. It has the keyword in there, double. So there should be two lines going across to show that. So I need one 8-footer here, another 8-footer, and then stacked on top. So I have another one stacked on top. So another 8-footer and one more for a total of four. All right, and then the last thing we have to do is the sheathing and the drywall. So that's when I use my rectangle tool to show that. Um, so there's a few different ways that students like to do this. Um, what I like to do is off to the side at least draw the correct size, four feet by eight foot. So I know this is zero to eight, so I can easily get the height of this correct. And then I'm gonna roughly draw it out where I think four feet would be. And then I use my length tool to get it to exactly four feet. So I'm going to hit escape. And I'm going to extend this maybe like a little bit more. And you just want to get it as close as you can. That's... I can't read that. Oh, a little too far. So we'll say right about there. That's about the four feet. So I'm going to copy this. And I'm actually going to rotate it because sheathing um, goes in the opposite direction of our studs. It makes it stronger. So I'm going to copy and paste this and kind of lay out my sheathing. So I can tell that my board isn't exactly four feet because my wall is eight feet tall. So it should match in the middle. There we go. And something to note with windows is you actually cover the windows with your sheeting and then they will come around and just cut out the hole. Uh, so they don't have to like subtract out that window. They would actually cover it. So your sheeting is four feet and then the drywall comes in four by eight sheets as well. It's just on the inside. So it's the same number. So that should be enough information for you to then move on to the west framing wall.